Hello and welcome back to Rev Endurance Sports and another event recap. This was a 400k brevet that I did on April the 20th. Today is, so that was Saturday and today is Monday the 22nd. And there's Jessie Girl getting in some laps, which is part of her physical therapy that she needs to get, doing, get done to get back on the bike and doing these events with me. Um, she got her mileage up to around 200k, and uh, and then she was just having a lot of um, neck pain and stuff where she had her clavicle uh, surgically repaired. So she's got to get in the pool as part of her therapy. Uh, she's got quite a few appointments here and there. Anyway, so she was able to uh, sag for me at this event, which is a godsend. And, you know, of course, she's just a wonderful person and smiling all along. And so it was really nice to get to the controls and see her there. So this is not the full recap, as you can see from the time on the um, on the length of the video. It's it's not a it's not the full recap. It's just a quick, quick summary. Uh, 400K, so 252 miles had 17,000 feet of climbing, 17,000 close to 200 I guess and the headline is it was very very hard um, the f I mean I suffered <laughs> a thousand deaths if you will um, the first 70 something miles had over 9,000 feet of climbing and it just seemed to like go up and then up and then up and then up and up and um, and so that was a really s slow going portion of the event. I mean, I think I averaged like 12.8 miles per hour up until that point. So then from there, the course, if you look at the elevation profile, I'll see if I can put it up here or maybe I'll just save it for the long debrief. Just... Um, it looks like it's fairly flat from like 150 miles to the finish. <laughs> it's just roller, rollers, some steep 15, 16% rollers into uh, Fallbrook. So if you're from the local area, you know Fallbrook is a very hilly and steep, hilly area. But the headline is, my goal was uh, 18 hours. Just a silly thing. I wanted to finish before... Um, I wanted to finish the 250 miles, the 400K, within the same day. So it was a 6 a.m. start. So that meant I had to push myself to finish within 18 hours. So the, the goal was sub-18. I did 1749 with the help of a few, a few riders at the beginning of the, of the ride for about 45 miles. And then I rode alone for 140 miles. Um, and then eventually... Aaron caught me about 180 miles in, and then we rode the last 64 miles or something together. And uh, and we'd been kind of trying to stay away from each other all day, and I finally just said, hey, <laughs> let's just work together towards the finish. And so we did that. But, um, yeah, so the... I think there was nine riders that went out, and I only know of three riders that DNF'd. I don't know how many more. I hope everyone else finished. Um, I do want to thank the Bervais administrator, Wei Sun, uh, put together an amazing course. I'd never gone from, from the San Diego airport up to Palomar Mountain in that direction. And it was a great route. I mean, I thought, oh, there's going to be a lot of traffic, lights, and no, it was great. And uh, we had a 12-mile dirt section from like mile 40, 40, 40, 40 something to like 50 something. It was like 12 miles. There goes Jessie, still swimming. And um, she said I had a puffy face. So if you guys can see that, make a comment down below. Um, oh, another... Uh, headline uh, news type of thing my nutrition plan was perfect 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 um, I went 100% liquids you know an occasional gel and a cliff block but that was 
you know, basically not a solid food, not real food either. So no bananas, no um, nothing like that. Nothing to chew. Um, 100% liquid fuel, um, of course, my product, and uh, in combination with Tailwind because it has electrolytes. But, um, but yeah, my nutrition plan was perfect. My stomach was perfect all day, all liquid for 18 hours of, of riding, which was the plan. I, I wanted to just go full liquid. Many times when I do these events, I'm also... Um, doing them with my product to prove that it can be done. As a matter of fact, I'll go into more detail during the event, complete recap, but Aaron was having some stomach troubles. I guess he watched some GCN um, big day fuel thing and he tried to make his own mixture, plus all the stuff you eat at the convenience stores and his stomach was a mess. And I said, look, you got to trust me. Let me put some of my product into your bottle and let's get you to the finish. And he totally, boom, snapped out of the malaise he was in and he finished really, really strong. And, and that's important, of course, getting people to the finish. And I've got a little video clip, totally candid, totally unprompted. And, you know, he basically says that, yeah, my, my product resurrect, resurrected him and got him to the finish. Um, so yeah, one guy DNF'd from back issues, another person DNF because it was, you know, he was just so cold. And the thing is, you're not, it's not that you're cold, it's just you don't have, you're underfueled the whole time. You don't have enough calories coming in and you're just constantly in a depletion throughout the day and night. And then by the time nightfall comes and it's, you know, let's say it's, um, uh, 45 degrees out you think it's 35 or you think it's even colder than that so he didn't have enough clothing to put on and too late to buy anything at any stores everything's closed but i mean if you could just get like oceanside is kind of a little bit touristy so if you could just get to one of those stores and just buy some t-shirts from you know these um, my mom went to wherever and all she brought me back was this t-shirt buy three or four of those they're probably like ten dollars for <laughs> two of them or something and just start layering stuff on you just want to get to the finish it, it doesn't matter how how cool you look anymore it doesn't none of that stuff matters anymore uh, so he had some thermo regulation issues i've i've experienced that a lot uh, there's a finishing photo of me at Trans Iowa, which is a 320 mile gravel race. I did it back in 2009. And uh, I'm wearing all kinds of stuff. And the, the organizer is at the finish line and he's just wearing a t-shirt. <laughs> and, uh, and it was probably, I don't know, 65 degrees out, but I felt so cold from riding throughout the night. It was a, a 30 hour finish. Uh, but, but yeah, so I finished 1749 so i met my goal all liquid nutrition jessica was sagging at the controls she was awesome uh, she had she was handing out cokes to the riders and they were just you know she she said she could just see them just brighten up <laughs> uh smile wise and, and just disposition just from getting a, a, a nice cold coke um weather was great got a little warm but that's just because we just haven't had many warm days and uh and you're in the valley and you're trying to climb up a 10 12 percent grade of cold grade and it's just it feels much hotter than it really is uh, especially with the tailwind right uh, going up a climb or no wind so the weather was great clothing perfect my shoes they ate my feet ached a little bit in my shoes that's not happened in my lake shoes so i un undid the buckles um, and then eventually just opened them all the way up but i think that was just i had them on so tight not a rookie mistake but we were going so hard and uh, there were some rollers i had to keep my my shoes cinched down quite a bit but once once i let them loose and rode like that for a couple of hours my feet were fine probably less than a couple of hours but you, you lose, you lose 
time, the concept of time is completely gone. And Aaron mentioned that to me as well. He was like, I have no idea what time it is. And, uh, and this is when we were riding in the dark. Uh, so we rode in the dark from sunset was like seven something. And we got to the finish at just before midnight. So we rode in the dark for, let's just call it five hours. And you lose all concept of time. And, um, but anyway, that's a, just a really short summary. I just wanted to be able to get something out today um, to let you folks know that I finished and that I'm working on a much longer review. And um, Jessica shot more footage um, at this um, as she was sagging at the controls. Um, I shot a little bit, but I had to be conscious of my battery running low on my phone. It's an old phone, and <laughs> uh, I, 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 I can't do a lot of live footage while riding because it just it drains the battery. Because we're also in a very we're also in very remote areas, so a lot of times the cell phone's constantly searching for service, and it just drains the battery on my phone. And, and of course, that's vital if you're in a remote area that hopefully you can pedal out of a, a crash or walk yourself out of a crash back into a, a good reception and then call for help right so anyway that's all for today please like and subscribe i've said this often 85 percent of my views there's jesse still doing her thing 85 percent of my views come from unsubscribed viewers please subscribe we could easily have a 10,000 subscriber channel we're at like 6,200. A few folks that are watching, I think, uh, what was his name? Wayno's photos, he used to say, don't be a ninja watcher. In other words, don't be one of these people that are just secret in the shadows watching the content and getting value from the content without subscribing. Just subscribe. It's super easy. Push the subscribe button, hit notification bells. In the meantime, we will see you up the road.